Uh, welcome back, everybody. 653. Uh, the election campaign, of course, almost over. The voting starts tomorrow. I think one of the major issues, and I don't know if it's gotten enough attention, it never does, it seems, is health care mm -hmm. in this province of ours. But how would you like to have your say in, in when it comes to health care and have somebody actually listen? Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Shannon McDonald is here representing a, a group of um, people from all over the province. Uh, and the, uh, the program is called Better Care Faster that you've been yes. talking about, right? Yeah. First of all, give me, give me a glimpse of this, this, uh, this campaign. What's it all about? So Better Care Faster is really about um, creating a platform for dialogue. Uh, it's a number of organizations, 10 partners have actually come together to say we, we need on to provide better information about what's important to Ontarians. We need to create a platform for Ontarians to, to say what are the priority issues and maybe contribute their ideas as to how to make things better. Mm -hmm. um, it's really a public awareness campaign and also uh, at the beginnings of a dialogue about how to ensure that we have better care in Ontario. You're asking the people of Ontario to to let you know yes exactly what the issues are that's right like this is straight talk about health care this is straight talk this is an opportunity very easily for people to go online to bettercarefaster.ca they can complete a poll uh, and identify what their priority concerns are or they can send us an email and let us know what their thoughts are in you detail know, in detail they can share ideas for solutions how to make things better what's working because lots of things are working well yeah. and where can we improve it seems to me taking a look at this thing this is a great idea because it doesn't get lost in the whole political arena and which, which often happens to healthcare, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's spun different ways by different people for different reasons. That's but in this right. case, we're talking about healthcare. We're talking that's about health care and we're talking about Ontarians being able to be sure that they will have what they need when they need it mm -hmm. uh, now and into the future. You talk about 10 partners coming together and these are major, major partners in this province, right? They are. They are. The Ontario Medical Association, the Ontario Lung Association, the Arthritis Society, CARP, uh, the Pharmacists Association. Mm -hmm. These are, are large organizations that have a, a mission and a mandate to uh, care for Ontarians and to, to make sure that they get the best care possible. I find it interesting that finally someone has come together and decided, okay, we're going to really take a good hard look at health care in this province mm -hmm. and get the opinion of the people who need it most, and that's the residents. It's absolutely important because the reality is, is that no one sector and no one, one person or group has all the solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to find innovative solutions. We need to look at what's working well in other places that we could, uh, could build on. What do you take with the information, what do you do with the information that you're gathering from people? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of opinions. I'm sure you've seen uh, some, uh, yes. if not all of them. <laughs> already uh, you're, you're taking polls and that sort of thing what do you do with it we're going to we're going to synthesize that information the poll is very easy to synthesize because when you actually go on the home page and complete the poll you can see where other Ontarians are on the issues that you've identified and mm -hmm. so with every response that poll changes in terms of its overall uh, score um, but we also are gathering the information that is coming forward from people in other ways and and we're going to be feeding that back to uh, to decision makers and innovators around, uh, ideally around a table uh, right. with Obvious, lots of members. Obviously, depending on, well, it doesn't matter who gets in as the provincial government, you're going to bring that to them. That's right. Do you think this will finally make a difference in, in how our health care system operates and, and what we see as priorities? We hope so. You know, we started, we launched with 10 partners. That's That was our beginning spot. This is a beginning. We expect the program to grow significantly mm -hmm. and we expect to be able to have a very positive and pro productive conversation with government, with yeah. other industry partners and with everyday Ontarians. By the way, it doesn't end when the uh, the election campaign's over. No. It goes on and on and That's on. That's right. right. This is a long-term project. That's right. This is a long-term commitment. This isn't election uh, aligned with the election. This is really yeah. about making sure that 10 and 20 years down the road, yeah. we have made the changes we need to. Not a bad idea to be talking about it during an election campaign, though. Certainly, it's helpful for whomever yeah. is going to form the next government to yeah. know what the priority issues are. Maybe it'll help the government of the day, whoever that might be, actually do something about health care, and that's what that's you're what hoping we hope for. Yeah, it's called uh, BetterCareFaster.ca. Go to that website and have your say. Why not? It's an opportunity Absolutely. to do it. It takes just a minute. Yeah. Thanks for coming to see us Thank today. you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, 657 coming up on 658. Uh, a fire in uh, downtown Ottawa of historical significance. We've got the details coming up on that. Your day's weather forecast and more. This is CTV Morning Live. We'll be right back.